Today's scripture comes from Acts 11, 19 through 26. Let's read this together. Now those who were scattered because of the persecution that arose over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia and Cyprus and Antioch, speaking the word to no one except Jews. But there were some of them, men of Cyprus and Cyrene, who on coming to Antioch spoke to the Hellenists also, preaching the Lord Jesus. And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The report of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he was glad, and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast purpose. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith, and a great many people were added to the Lord. So Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a great many people. And in Antioch, the disciples were first called Christians. Amen. Let's pray together. Dear God, we um, thank you, Lord, for who you are. God, that you created the world and even before even before that, Lord, you had a plan to restore us to you. God, you are our creator, and you are our savior. God, you are our father, and you are our friend, and you are the author and the protector of our faith. And we thank you for the ways that you've blessed and protected the church, and the ways that you've used the persecution and suffering to further your cause. God, we thank you that there is no exclusivity in the gospel, and that you offer everyone a chance to approach you and receive your grace. God, we pray that you would be our hands and feet, that we would be your hands and feet. God, that your word would continue to travel to those that do not yet know you. God, we pray that you would bless our brothers and sisters who are experiencing persecution, and that you would work a revival in all the ends of the world. God, thank you for the freedom and the safety we have to worship you and to share your name. And we pray that we would not take this safety for granted, but that we would be filled with your Holy Spirit to share your gospel. God, we pray now for Pastor James as he shared, that you would speak through him and use him to teach us your word. May you receive all the honor and glory and praise forevermore. Amen. 